hey, check this out. I've got Gmail installed on my computer. So it opens its own window. I've also got Google Drive installed and I've installed YouTube and a couple of others. Do you want to do this? Because I'm going to show you how to. Because I imagine at the moment when you want to access Gmail, you probably open Google Chrome. If you're lucky, you've got a bookmark in the top left hand corner or something here, or, or you just type in gmail.com to get your emails and then you probably leave a tab open all day long and flick back between that when you want to use your email but it's so much easier when you've just got the button down here and you can just open it and close it you can do this on your windows computer and your mac you do need to be using google chrome microsoft edge or safari because it's only supported in those browsers but once you've got these apps installed you can use them really easily and get to them really easily the gmail and google calendar one you have to do in a slightly different way to the others and also if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show how you can set it up. So as soon as you open your computer, these windows will open for you. Keep watching and let's get on with installing these. I'm James, the founder of Kimberly IT and Google Workspace is our thing. We love helping companies that have Google Workspace and providing them IT support. So if you've got a business like that, feel free to get in contact. If you want to find out more tips like this, we've got loads. You can also view a load on our YouTube channel. So if you like this video and go check out our YouTube video and don't forget to hit subscribe. So I'm just going to close all these windows so I can show you how to install one of these apps. Um, you need to open your browser. So find your browser, Google Chrome in this case. First off, we're going to install one that is like an official app that has the ability to do it. So we'll do Google Tasks. So if we go to tasks.google.com, just have a look at the address bar when this website loads up and you'll see this icon in the top right hand corner. This is the install icon. So if you see this on any website, if you click on it, you'll get a dialogue that pops up to let you install the app. So here we go. It's slightly different in different browsers what window appears. You click install and you see that program has now popped out into its own window. It's gone really big. So let's just make that a bit, uh, let's shrink that down slightly in size. Uh, and you'll see on the taskbar down below, that the task icon has now appeared. Likewise, in your dock on Mac, it will have appeared. On Windows, you need to right click on it and just hit pin to taskbar. When you do that, if I close the window and reopen it, it's there, the icon stays there. And on a Mac, you just drag it to where you want it to be on a dock and it will stay there for you. Uh, so that's how you install like an app that's got official support for it. You just look for that icon in the top right hand corner of the address bar. Now, if we're gonna do one that doesn't have official support like Google Calendar or Gmail, I've got Gmail already installed, so I'm going to show you how to do it on Google Calendar. Um, all you need to do is open Google Calendar. In the top right hand corner, click on the three dots in Google Chrome. And then you want to go to this option that says Cast, Save and Share. This submenu will open up and on here you've got a couple of options. Um, you want to do the one that says Install Pages App. Don't do Create Shortcut, do Install Pages as App. When you click on that, it's going to pop up with that Install button. You can actually rename it here if you wanted to call it something different. Maybe. Maybe for your desktop, you don't want it to say Google Calendar. You might want it just to say Calendar for the icon on the, the desktop on the left that you can see here. But once you're happy with whatever name it is, just hit Install and that's it. That's now installed as its own uh, window again. It's opening massively as normal. Um, don't forget to right pin it on a Windows machine, right click and select pin to taskbar or drag it on your dock. And as you can see, that opens now. So when you're at work and you want to flip between these apps really quickly, you don't need to bother going through all the tabs at the cross of your browser because we all know that people collect tabs and it can be hard finding them. You can have them actually installed and easy access them. Uh, now there is a little trick that I mentioned at the start of the video, which is where you can get these apps to automatically open when you start your computer. And to do that, you need to open your browser again. And in Google Chrome, you need to type in Chrome colon slash slash apps. This page will load up and it just shows you all the apps that I've just installed. And to get them to automatically open when you're starting your computer, just right click on them. So Gmail, right click on it and click launch at startup. That means as soon as your computer turns on, assuming you've got Chrome set up to launch at startup, these apps will also launch at startup. So you'll get your Gmail window open automatically, your Google calendar window open automatically and all the ones that you want to open. So you can access them super easily and super quickly. It's a fantastic feature that no one knows about. Get that installed and you'll be able to flick through them really easily on your taskbar. Now, if you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you give me a like or subscribe. We're going to try and grow this channel and those always help out. And also if you subscribe, you're going to get the next good videos that come along with some more productivity tips. Get in there, get your Chrome open and start installing these apps that you use a lot.